Hi, I'm John. And I'm Ted. And we suck at games. Possibly. Maybe? Sort of. I don't know anymore. Probably only if we play on really on difficulties that will make it. This is something we've, I think we've talked about. It's, um, neither of us care to play games if we're not going to enjoy them. Exactly. We, we don't suck at video games, but, like, when you start ramping up the difficulty, I stop caring. Yeah. <laughs> because I... You don't find enjoyment in it, and what's the point of playing a game Well, at it's that the point? same thing with, like, Dark Souls. It's, it's incredibly difficult, but if you get the skill down... Mm -hmm. It isn't. Whoa, did you see that? No. The background is like a... It's like a stretched out JPEG. Like, look at the... Oh, okay. Look at the, like, weird curve there. Yeah. Whoa! How did I never notice that? That's insane! Yeah. Okay. Which means they took an image and then they just, like, stretched it. Okay. Wow, that's weird. How did I never notice that? Wow, that is, that's yeah. that's really crazy. Um, that, sorry, that caught me so off guard because mm -hmm. like, I'd never seen that before. Granted, I usually play handheld mode, so like, the details aren't as crisp mm -hmm. than as they are on the TV, just because it's much smaller and you can't really get a good. Yeah. It's, Size to visual re reference, blah blah blah. I don't know much about vision, but like due to the fact that I couldn't, it was smaller. I probably wouldn't have caught it. But yeah, why does he have that one like dangler? I don't know. <laughs> He's got that one dangler right in the middle of his forehead. We'll probably have to move the stand I have my computer on back a bit because it's getting in the way of my feet. Oh, okay. We'll do that next episode, Yeah, though. we'll do that next episode. He has um, kind of string cheese hair, too. Yeah. He's got that string cheese hair. I don't know why I said it like that. So we need to check out some of these DLC outfits. So let's save. Because I am a compulsive saver. Oh, trust me, I understand. Oh, we can't. Fuck oh, that. we can't until we choose what we're gonna do. Uh. Oh, right. We gotta do a seminar. Which I never do in the normal game. I did them occasionally oh. if, like, for instance, because I trained Byleth up in a bunch of different things, so she could teach a bunch of different people a bunch of different stuff. Well, Snake. Well, you were Byleth. You're... Yeah, I played Byleth. Yeah. Because I didn't change my name. Because... You're basic. Yeah. Well, I don't I fucking used, care most I of the time. I used my actual name. Which, yeah. If you're watching, go ahead and guess. But if you're a member of my family or my friend... Who I have told, do not, please. Please don't comment. I want to see what... If the, you what, already know. Yeah, I want to see what people who don't know think. I think our best bet is to use Sedith. Uh, Lance and Authority. Yeah. Just because he's got the most people he can teach, and he's got the highest rating. That is true, yeah. And Authority always helps. Yeah, Authority is just... Authority is all around a good stat to get. Yeah, because I know... Because, like... So it helps with battalions and it it helps with battalions and because I think late um, game you really need to give everybody a battalion. The authority prowess, I think, increases might. Oh my god! For for gambits. Yeah. I think. Sorry. Don't, don't quote me on anything. Now my eyes are itching. Oh my god! Fucking ragweed season. Please, God, stop. My eyes are burning. Ted, help. I usually get a, um, do you want me to get you, like, a wet towel? No, I'm fine. A damn towel, actually. I'll, I'll be okay. I can do it. It's all coming together. It's all becoming clear. Am I making Yay. progress? Our dancer got more authority. Yay. That's really the person who needs it most. Because, have you because seen, the Blue Lion's core. Have you seen dancer Bernadetta's core. dancer outfit? No, I haven't. Bernadetta. Mercedes's birthday. Fire I mean, she's already in our thing, and I don't want to waste money, but Dancer. I'll give her anyway, because she's one of our students. I'm conflicted in saving money or just giving it away. Yeah. I always give money. Just because, like, you might as well. Mute. Yes, please. As I mute my computer specifically so, like, this video doesn't start playing. Yeah. I'm going to try and find it while you go. Okay. 
Have you seen, um, I think the same person you're watching has a video where they ch changed everyone into the Enlightened One class, and Raphael is not a big beefy boy in it because it's just on the male Byleth's model. <laughs> That's weird. Nice. Yeah. It's also really scary because why is he not a big beefy boy? Yeah. I made him my dancer, by the way, in my Golden Deer playthrough. Yeah. I love I, I love this one just because of the dark color. Mm-hmm. And I have... I love Bernadetta. I just... I love her design. She's a cutie. Mm-hmm. Um, interesting factoid about... Uh... Her... Time, her time skip... Dorothea's dancer uh, outfit is unique? Is her unique class. Outfit. Oh, that's cool. So, like, that's... That's what she looks like after the time skip. I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah. Um. We fought together many times. I don't know what that was. Oh, of course. Failed at the snake voice there. Whoops. It's all right. In all honesty. Uh, have you seen? Okay, so I know I showed you some Jello Apocalypse stuff before. Have you seen the Fire Emblem one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I actually don't know what to say. Um, in all honesty, I'm a bit jealous. My parents are no longer around. Um, uh, no longer around. I think that's probably a good option. See, like, in the, like, the Golden Deer is the house of people who have either terrible things happen- no, God, it's like Golden Deer. Blue Lions is the house of people who have either had terrible things already happen to them. Well, every- um, a lot of the characters have that. Um, yeah. Or they have things happen to them in the course of the game. Yeah. I mean, the Blue Lions really seems to be the, like, uh, class that just got shit on from the very beginning. <laughs> yeah. Mission time. Yep. Save. Always save. Yeah, we're gonna kill Bandit. You ever think about how... how um, what's his name? Um, Nemesis being a bandit and being the last boss. There's finally a bandit who's the last boss of a Fire Emblem game. It's yeah. the first. That was pretty cool. And he also is technically a king, I think. He, he became was... a king. His, so, like, bandits, they must have had to, like, make a new quote-unquote bandit class. Because I don't think they've ever been like, what happens when you get a bandit to, like, level 70? <laughs> King of Liberation. King of Liberation? I believe that's what his unique class is called. Oh. So it's a bandit adjacent class. Yeah. And I really wish he had the break bars that <sighs> all the other last bosses had. Mm -hmm. But you can't hurt him, I don't think, until you, um... Until you defeat all the other ten elites, so... Yeah. Is this the first the map there. where you fight a monster? No, this is just getting rid of Costas. Oh, uh, okay. It's been a while. Also, it's been a while. The, um, the uh, have you seen the stuff posted by like the voice actors for this game on Twitter? Like, um, like Sylvain's voice actor made a post saying when um uh, when Ingrid's grandma walks by and it's this guy looking over his shoulder. <laughs> Yeah. And they always, it's so fun. I love the voice actors for this game. They're so funny. They all have such a great sense of humor when it comes to this game. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I might end up trying to make Ash a thief. That's probably the best bet. Just because I... I and if we don't recruit someone for it, because I want... Do I have a key? Chest key. Okay. okay. I know we get one somewhere out here. But I just want to have an extra one there just in case. Yeah. And technically, your units can all just come right up to the, um, to, as long as they're next to Snake, they'll be able to access the... Yeah, the, uh, convoy. Yeah. This is the first time I have ever been here. He's and got a good yeah. voice. Like, we can't super hear it well, because when we record, we turn the audio off on the TV, just so, you know... It doesn't pick up. It's not getting picked up by the microphones, but, um, like... It, it does come through on the computer a little bit, and, um... God, Dimitri's got a good voice. Yeah. 
Chris Hackney, I believe. Chris Hackney? Is the name of, the, of his voice actor. He's a good bean, then. I like him. I like how different characters have different reactions to um their first kill. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like, Linhart freaks out as one of the standout ones. Yeah. We're already level 5, so we don't want to... Yeah, we don't want to go super crazy on the leveling. Well, we also don't want to throw him in because he just kills everything himself. Well, he's almost level 5, so I want to be able to promote him. Ah, uh, yes, yes, that makes sense. Ready. And Ingrid, who <laughs> will be right near Felix and angry that she he flirted with her dear sweet grandma. So weird. I love what him so much. He's so funny. We should throw to do up front, shouldn't yeah. we? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And he was a fortress knight. In the actual... In in the end game. And I think that's what will make him either that or a war master. Yeah. War masters... He's, he just didn't have the natural speed quite. Yeah. The 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 big issue with war masters is you want them to have like a they, high speed. So they can hit four times. So they can hit all four times. Um, that being yeah, said... HP, strength, and charm. Okay, that's pretty good. That I being said, like, defense, but... like, if we make him a fortress knight... Like, nothing will be able to touch him except magic users. Yeah. That being said, magic users will be able to, like, literally annihilate him. One shot him, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what did Felix say is his last? I missed it, but we'll, oh, well, yeah. we'll, we'll watch it again in post. Yep. Aww. To do! Uh, I trusted you. That's okay. It happens. Uh, sorry again, guys. Like my allergy, allergy just... season. Yeah, it's well for a specific thing. So ragweed is specifically the thing I am the most allergic to in the entire world. Oof. Oof. That's oof. See, I like Sylvain. I like Sylvain now. That you know him a bit better. Now that I that I like see his character arc a little better. But like when you first meet him in any playthrough, he's just a womanizer. Yeah. It's like, ugh. And, and he still doesn't pull it off as well as Zelos, Wilder. Yeah, Zelos was the best. Zelos was the best womanizer with, like, a weird heart of gold slash, like, secretly had this, like, really, really bad dark side. Yeah. Yeah. I love how when, um, I didn't... We should much... just take an episode and talk about Tales games. I didn't Because much... we played yeah. the shit out of those games. When we were younger, yeah. Um... <laughs> I didn't much like, um, what was it called, um, the Tales of, um... Vesperia? No, not Tales of Vesperia, Tales of, the Tales of Symphonia second game, Dawn of the New World or whatever it's called, Knights of Ratatosk, I can't remember. Um, the, uh... The one for the Wii. Not the Wii, no wait. Well, well actually, I think it was for the Wii. Or was it? I'm no. trying to remember that one. It was the one with Emil and Marta. Lu and Marta. N um... Yes, yes, the one where you could recruit monsters. Yeah, and um... that one was not as good. No. <laughs> Here, make sure the enemy can't get in that teeny tiny amount of cover. I'll give it to Felix. Yeah, is that twenty percent evasion increase? I don't know if it's actual percent or if it's flat. Oh, okay. Um. Rally increases resistance, so strength and resistance up by four. Ooh, that's really like good. I said, it stacks. The rallies stack. Um, I cannot move Ash there. I don't want him to get attacked by everyone. Yeah. Uh, so I proposed an idea to Ted before we started recording this episode, which was to say, like, on the next, uh, oh, on I the next, they're hitting twice. The next time we're able to, uh, like pause between episodes yeah we should just <laughs> we should just sit down and do uh, a bunch of the free paralogs to just grind and that might show up idea. a late show up a couple level uh like a couple a couple levels later in the actual gameplay and be like sup guys not only did we level but now all of our characters are level 40 what's up <laughs> considering all of our units are being double double 
that's what what's so crazy about this is so i think blue lions is supposed to be the hardest class to play based on the difficulty we have had so far yeah it's just weird i'm not used well, to this because, being this difficult excuse me because the golden deer had a lot of characters with super high speed black eagles had a lot of characters with just ridiculous attack power. Yeah. And blue lions really have none of that. Yeah. Like, except for Felix, they really don't have super high damage characters right at the beginning. Except for maybe the spellcasters. But even the spellcasters are only doing 11 damage. And not doubling or anything, yeah. Yeah, I really think um, Blue Lions was designed to be the hardest class to play. Oh, that's a good level up, but she didn't get magic. Yeah, that is a good level up. <laughs> Except for the fact that she didn't get magic. Did she just say, I did it, see I'm a fighter? I'm a great fighter, yeah. Is... Is that... Is that how you react to your first kill? <laughs> well... I don't, that's a good point. But, I it's mean, not good. That's a different society than our own. Yeah. <laughs> Pray you hit. I'll go with Lance just because. Okay. Jeez Louise. She is not yet the dodge tank I'm used to her being. Yeah, we are. We are definitely gonna have to like take a day. And like we we might be able to live stream it still. Um. Like, we wouldn't have much of an audience, but who knows? Maybe some people just join in and sit down with us. But, uh... Like that one guy that donates so ridiculous amount of money to people who have, like, no viewers in their streams. Yeah. Uh, who, who is that? I can't remember, but I just know it's the a most amazing thing, and I don't know how he has the money. Um, is it Mr. Beast? I Mr. Remember. Beast is the guy who bought, like, ten cars at a car lot, and then, like, it's gave them bad. all away for, like, less than ten dollars. Madman. I know, I love him. Mr. Beast, and his channel grew literally because he started doing big giveaways like that. Um, there was okay. the... We might have to just get her, get Snake's abilities to be, um, normal, and then as soon as we can get her into the Enlightened One class, because at least then we'll have another white magic user. Yeah. Um... I don't like the idea, but if we get S rank and swords, we'll be able to get sword crit plus 10 yeah um what was i saying uh but mr B one of one of his big videos was he got a bunch of youtubers together or no he he shouted out and he was like i'm doing a youtuber battle royale where the prize is like um i think it was like a hundred thousand dollars that's pretty like the, crazy. Like, the winning team got $100,000, or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. But, like, uh, the winning team was um, The Odd One Out, which is an animating channel, yeah. um, Jaden Animations, okay. and Anthony Padilla. Really? Yeah. The, so of they were Smosh? the team. Yeah, of, of, of Smosh fame. Yeah. And that was such an inf inf big part of my of my younger oh my gosh smosh was huge of when I my was young younger. teens and like i would love to meet anthony like i'd love to meet both of them i'd i'd love to meet anthony specifically because i always and this sounds bad i always related more to anthony oh, okay <laughs> um just because um uh, what was the other he one's name italian ian 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 always had this like laissez-faire kind of like Oof. cool relaxed comedy but like anthony padilla's comedy always came off as like blah 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 and then he looked around like did anybody laugh please god tell me somebody laughed like he always had this like nervous energy which i do too so like i always i always kind of related to anthony more so i'd love to meet him one day and just be like dude like you're one of the reasons like me and my buddies started a YouTube channel because, like, you were so influential as, like, a member of Smosh. And even now, I've watched his stuff now that he's away from Smosh. That was... I mean, he didn't get HP, HP or defense, but he got basically everything. Yeah. 
you were watching his stuff from after so, he left Smash. Yeah. It's 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 still fun to watch. It is. And he's still really funny. And same with Ian. Like uh Smosh Games, which is what I think he does more of now. Like he's a funny dude. I don't think he does Smosh Games. I think he participates in Smosh Games. Uh, and we're running out of heels. I don't know. It's been a while since I watched a lot of their stuff just because um there's so much else. There's there's so much else to watch. Like and I mean, I watch Critical Role on a weekly basis. And that which alone is to is, uh... which is to say I spend between 4 and 6 hours a week watching a D&D show. I watch a lot of D&D shows too. I just love D&D. Um but we're going to have to stop it here. Uh see you guys in the next episode. All right. Bye.